channel is being able to share relaxing and ASMR quality games with you all. I've mentioned it a bit before, but there's a certain kind of game that I really like that's relaxing, wholesome, peaceful, some of those things maybe all at once, and I really struggled to find games like that when I was younger. However, I'm now in a position where I know what to look for, and together, me and my partner are always on the lookout for these kind of games to share with you. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you not one, but four new upcoming games that are ASMR quality, like perfect, relaxing, gorgeous, lovely little games that I think you will fall in love with at least one. You're gonna love at least one. These are all demos that I'm playing, so not finished products, please keep that in mind. And there are timestamps along the, uh, you know, what's it called? The thing you drag along, <laughs> along the playback, you know, there's timestamps to jump to certain games I'm gonna be playing. Not necessarily in this order, uh, Unpacking, Sable, Little Witch in the Woods, uh, and Darinell. Four very different games, however, they all have that perfect for ASMR experience that you guys are here for. Now, none of these games are, like, have sponsored me or anything. I personally went through the list of demos on Steam and I picked these four out for being some of the more asmr -y ones that also looked like it had good gameplay. Um, so, Every comment you hear is my own, it's my own thoughts and feelings, and I haven't been paid for for them, okay? So, just so you know, 100% honesty, it's all, it's all just me, <laughs> and games that I want to play myself as well. Alright, I think that's about it, let's, let's get going with the games, I know that's what you're all here for, and relaxation, I hope. This is Dara Nil. this area 
things. But I am covering more and that should be enough. Fingers crossed. What's the biggest number we can get? So far it's been like 85. There we go. We've successfully repopulated the wasteland of plant life. Next we move on to phase two. It still doesn't look right, but don't worry, it will look a lot better when we're done. We can actually still go back to phase one, for instance. I'd like to get this uh, filled with water. Yeah, just cover all the water tiles. Don't I miss any places that could be full of water that are not? I don't think so. Um, I could then go ahead and I could do a couple more of these and I could just fill her up with more plant diversity. Because we want as much as possible. No. Yeah, we do. Uh, what would be the best? 21. Is that the best we got? 23. Okay. Anyway, so uh, these research centers, they reduce the cost of stuff and they make excavators smaller. Uh, well, I might add those. But for now, we want to fill up these bars. So we want, um, this is, um, like wildflowers, this is um, wetlands, and this is forest. We want to grow all those. So here's how we do it. We add hydroponics, hydroponiums and on over any any of these spots like this that are near the water and look what happens. Wow, we have wetlands now and look at that, our wetlands bar is filled up a bit more. We can put some wetlands here. Alright, we're about halfway there. We need more wetlands though. Oh, we can have some wetlands up here. There we go. That looks really nice. We need some more. Where else could we make wetlands? This one's not going to work because it's not a good spot. Alright, well, we'll work on it some more later. Next, let's add some beehives. So, we could add uh, a beehive over here and then watch. Uh, look at that. Now we've got these wildflower fields. They just look amazing. And we're gonna need more. How about over here? Perfect. That looks great. And we could use a little bit more. So how about over here? We're actually good now on this biome. However, we're gonna need forest. Here's the thing about forest. In order to create it, we're going to need to uh, desiccate the area. Now, let me see. I was hoping that uh, I need to basically cut more area. I'm gonna need, yeah. What I was hoping to do was like utilize the, the wetlands. I'm not really sure how to do it. I am still learning this game. Go ahead and fill it up even though it's minus three. Look at that. 
looks much better, right? I feel like, uh, I feel like we should be having some more greenery in the little areas that we can. Like right here, yeah. Actually, we need more wetlands. But, I'm not sure that I would have been able to. Let me see, maybe, maybe if I put them there, that's close enough that I can make it a wetland spot. There we go, yes, and that helps me with this one. However, I have lost some of my wildflower, wildflower areas, remember? And I can't really add them here. I could add it here, yeah. That, that helps a bit. But we're still not good enough. I still need to add some more. Let me see. I've got to figure out a way to fill this area up. So maybe I can... Unlocked the 
about this uh, research center thing, which I should have done first because it made <laughs> it made these things, the excavators, so much smaller. And I like I read that it was gonna do that, and yet in my mind, I very sillily was like, "Oh no, it's." smart. What? I want to put it here, but it doesn't seem to be calcifying uh, any spots for me. Oh man, why is this so bloody confusing? I'm just making like a million of these excavating things just to try to get water out, basically. By doing so, you know, okay, maybe, maybe, here we go. So now, oh, okay, I can now finally cover some more ground. I am using up quite a bit of my cash, though. I'm not gonna have a lot left soon. Okay, let's see. <laughs> maybe I just that. It covers quite a bit of ground. No. Why won't it move? Oh, look, we don't have quite enough. There we go. Somehow it had checked it, but, uh, all right, that's a bit of a bug. Because we had completed it earlier, and then we later took some away. That's a bug. Now we can start the third stage, so we want to make an airship. The airship has to be, um, by the water. Where's a good place for it? I guess right here, maybe. Let's, let's do it right there. There was room there. And then we put the little drone guy right there. Next. Okay, this took me a while to figure out, but basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna start collecting stuff. So we need to tell it to collect stuff from, um, so we're gonna add a site, uh, site, silo, site, silo, yeah, um, from, like, an area, like, uh, let's say, uh, we wanna collect as many buildings as possible. Oh, look, see the deer are starting to come back. It's hard to get everything in at once. So if I put one here, and then I basically just put this here, and it should collect everything. Watch, watch this. See? All the buildings, and then it recycles them, and it brings it back. So this is how we get everything. Alright, let's see. can grab all of this. This is the, the, the point where we, uh, we rebuild, basically. Oh, okay, I can't get through there. So I'm gonna find out how I can, like, <laughs> how the heck am I gonna get over here? be able to 
I can see that there's a little thing back there. I'm gonna put the ruler in there because I don't think you would really need a ruler. And then we can move the crayons over. You can see. Okay, what's in this one? Another book to put up on the shelf. Some scissors. Put the scissors in here. I don't think you need them like all the time. And maybe the eraser too. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He's so cute. Um, I'll put him down here. Or actually, I'll put him on the bed. Yeah, very cute. As a poster. Oh my gosh, so cute. Yes, love the poster. Another book. Oops, I didn't mean to open that one. Another book. Ah, oh, little, like, game boy. We can go next there. Ah, the kitty is gonna sit next to the dragon. And another book. I'll put it over there. And another book. journal. I want to put the journal in here. 
can actually, let's see, let's hang this up, yeah, there we go. Piggy bank, yeah, piggy bank. Go further up this time. Another fun top. And a little action figures again. More pants. Ah, uh, the, the classic football is back. Maybe the football's just sitting in the chair. Uh, notebook. And another top. Kit, kitty top. It says meow. Now I can open up that drawer. Might be useful to put some stuff in there. Uh, a little work of art. I wonder if they did that as a kid or something and now they're keeping it. Stay humble. <laughs> uh, let's put the piggy up there. See, I told you that pig's the favorite. The pig is still around. Follow them to their first small apartment or dorm room, maybe. There's a bathroom, actually, that we can go in, and there's a kitchen as well. We're gonna have to impact them all. Oh, toothpaste also goes in there. Oh, and the little maquette. Let's put the maquette up top so they can see. And a boom box. I had a little boom box like this, but it was red. More jeans. It's a lot of jeans. Some Converse. Ah, oh, the CDs. Okay, maybe they can fit up there. Oh, the other Converse. There we go. And some boots. Very cute. Yeah, I like them. Love boots. Oh, here's my computer tower. Perfect. Where's the keyboard? Weird. Some bras. Uh, maybe we can put the bras in a drawer. They don't need to be just lounging around. Got all the colors down. Very good. Very nice. Another poster. It says three miles home out here. Uh, another. Yeah, that'd be by the bed. In fact, it might even be like by the bed, by the bed. Oh, the kitties come, came with us too. I love that. That's so cute. I mean, swap that book around. The eraser. Awesome oh, file stuff. Uh, you know what? That fits like perfectly right there. And some socks. Okay, socks definitely gonna go in our own drawer. Lots of socks. A toaster. Well, that goes in the kitchen. That is not gonna go. Not gonna go in the bedroom. No, thank you. Oh my gosh, so many pairs of socks. Rubik's Cube, eh? More socks. More socks. Oh, another shirt. Uh, we're gonna have to stack that one because we've run out of hangers. Really should get some more hangers. Well, let me see if I can like move stuff around. There we go, that looks better. More socks. Oh, wait, this one matches this one. Okay. Oh, and that one matches that one. Last box in the bedroom. Oh, I feel like the, uh, I feel like the hoodie should be hanging up. No. Yeah. Like, that's a necessity to me. Okay, let's move the boom box, because that definitely needs to go on the desk. In fact, I'd probably keep my MP3 player there, too, to pick it up and go. More D's to hang up. Or to, you know, that blouse feels too nice. Let's, uh, let's hang that one up too. In fact, it should be like that in the, the sleeve, the longer sleeve things should go together. I'm being very particular about this. Uh, I must have, like, visited London or something as a kid, you know, that's why she had that. Oh, and now she's been to Paris too, I take it. Or he. Uh, these look like pajama pants, or just pajama shirt. Oh, and here's the pajama pants. More PJs. Kind of hard to reach, though. More socks. Oh, they match these. Ah, perfect. Okay, hold on. I can put this one up there so they don't have all matching socks. Some things aren't gonna match. Toilet paper. That's definitely for the bathroom. 
is do it to this demo, um, right? Yes. Thanks for playing our demo. The full game will be out later this year. For updates, you can wishlist unpacking and follow them on Twitter. Alright, I loved that. Um, 100% one of those games that is great for the channel, so when this comes out, I'll be grabbing it and we'll make a full video with that. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Smiling behind. 
under mask just as I know she can feel the teeth bury in little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. I tell Jody that I know, but it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches out and places a hand at the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I thank Jotty for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Alal and Triss. Trish should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Alal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun. I think I might suspect what Charlie's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. I told Charlie I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. Choose well and quickly so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Alal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Triss as well. I told him to arrange your bike with Ciso, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same way I used on my gliding, an artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. If it's naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted, each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. Compass. Wow. I love this. I love this UI. Wow. Let's go see a lull. Ah, oh, you're in a lull. Hello. You're very tall. As I approach Alal, I give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Alal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it, with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Alal hands me a small, round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Alal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Alal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Alal that I feel... Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is... Openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels from the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. The lot claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hillel stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Triss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? Remember Jotty's words now, and tell Hillel I'll go and see Triss. Whispering stones. Okay, let's go see Triss. Wow, what's this thing? Postbox, locking in. Hello, people. Unread messages. Have a good day. Alright, let's see how I get down. Oh, I gotta, gotta jump. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh. Whoa. She can jump so far. It's amazing. I love how kind of like smooth the rest of the world is, but kind of how jagged, uh, how few frames there are to her run animation. I, I don't know, there's something really, really charming about that. The Ibex camp. Though I've told my 
twice up to drink. I did, I raised up. But yeah, there's something that's very storybook about that, about a character that's very, um, that has fewer frames in the animation, but in a smooth world like this. Tris is the cat manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or really get used to it? Tris turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, hello. Uh, hello, how are you today? I ask Tris how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Tris if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike? It, yes, of course. Right, yes. Your bike. Then it was meant to, that, that I prepared for you. Because today is your gliding, yes, and dress nods along with me. I yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold, as he forgotten. By which I mean, I arranged it for you in a, well, it's a sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Yes, exactly, a learning experience. Y you see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures the sound cutter to side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be careful, be gentle though. This is hand cutter's older than Jotty. You treat her with respect. Now, ride this bike through the ring and back. Oh, and here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. I I kind of um I adore that it feels like I'm reading a novel. Um, while playing the game. It's really, really great. So I can accelerate. Ooh space to strafe. Wow. I, uh, I didn't know what to expect with this. Only that I thought it looked wonderful. The art style. That was actually quite close. Um, well, I didn't want to go back yet. I wanted to hit that temple. Isn't it uh, over here? I want to say, what was the button? What was the button that I I used to uh, activate my compass? Is it Z? Is it X? Is it C? What was it? Maybe I can't activate my compass. Oh, I turn on strafe. Maybe I can't activate it uh, while I'm driving. I I wanted to say it was under this. I mean, this is gorgeous. Wow. It must be over here. There we go. Let's try. Let's go over here. And I can climb up, I suppose. Wow. Okay, is it that or is it this over here on the right? Okay, let me stop and get off. And I think I can, you know, jump up here. Climb. Yeah, very Breath of the Wild. Speaking of which, I am, I saw the, you know, I watched the direct, when the direct came out, of course, and I was very excited, um, oh, I don't have a lot of stamina, okay, that's not a lot, what was the button that I pushed, though, let's see, it was crouch, well, <laughs> pressed every button, <laughs> now, <laughs> no, not C, I keep pressing C, what, how do I, how do I see the, uh, shoving the controls again? Compass was cute. Uh oh, okay, like everything. But what I pressed. Hey, they're both over. Whoa, what's that in the air? Okay. Um, let me try this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I made it that time. The jumping helped, I suppose. wild trailer. I, um, I just thought it looked alright. I think I wasn't overly thrilled, and I was talking to the Whisper Games about this with the sky 
should just go back. I feel like, you know, I made it this way, but, uh, I don't actually know if I'm... Ah! <laughs> well, shoot, now I don't know how to get back. <laughs> Great. Uh, maybe I've, I guess I've got to press on. Okay, I'll, I'll press on a bit. I don't know if I was meant to have done that or not, guys. I might have just messed myself up. I thought this was very pointed. I could be totally wrong. I could have completely forgotten. But I don't know, this stuff is glowing here, so that feels like a good sign. Oh, this is very interesting looking. It's interesting how monochromatic, like this room in particular is, and yet how visually striking it is. No. The star, right, this was it. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Accelerated, or maybe it feels right. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel a curiosity in the sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Whoa, a little bit like the Shika stones and stuff. just said that this place was monochromatic a few seconds ago. <laughs> Not so much anymore. What's happening? What? Oh my goodness. channel. 
this person before. It looks like a kid. I ask why there's such an interest in beetles in the first place, only to regret the next two minutes. At least she's enthusiastic about something. <laughs> it's a little kid. That's very interested in beetles. How cute. Alright, what was over here? It's like quite a lot of... It looks like a... Like kind of a little shop or something. Oh, this kind of looks like a, a bike being put together or something. But there's no one here, so I'm kind of confused. Also, do I not sleep? Because, uh... It's quite early in the morning. No. Um, oh, I'm just in the back. Okay, uh, hello again, hello. wisdom, but maybe not quite what I needed. Where the heck am I meant to go? Maybe I shouldn't be following that. Maybe, oh, here's someone. This looks like something up there. As she looks out across the sand landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind. Seki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. Is that what I'm seeing up there? Yeah. Do you want me to get her back? Seki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. We have a short chat about nothing in particular. I say goodbye to Seki. I'm gonna go talk to Ilaria. <laughs> oh wait, you know what? I should probably have regained my stamina before I go jumping off again. Kinda feels like this wouldn't be possible without the gliding stone that I have. Alright, so here's the kid, Ilaria, the balloon. Oh, is that what, how they got there? Are you... Cartographer, cartographer Jordan. Ah, oh, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Uh, she really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel, however nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's fallen off one. Best not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. Jordan. I tell Mum Sable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I told the car dog if I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'd be 50 cuts. If you're leaving on your gliding, Sable, you'll definitely need a map of the Ewer, at least. And I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider of empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I'll need to ask Jotty for some money. Farewell, child. Oh, there's someone else down there, too. I think I want to climb up this tower. I can take a shortcut, too. The, uh, <laughs> turning my mouse, it's not super responsive. Like, I'll need to turn the sensitivity up in the future. <laughs> you can probably tell. See, I'm, like, moving my, my mouse across the entire mouse pad, and it's, like, Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, is this like a chest? Like, like a game? Just quit, nothing happened. Ah, oh, here's a person. Okay, I thought there might be someone up here. Ah, it's Izo, yes. An outliner to the Apexi. But I've known her as nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her in more of a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their post, and by their training and their code, must go to where they're needed. Size has been among us for so long, it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ipexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ipexi versus Outclaner is just some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always 
pleased that Sizo did. Sable, how do you do, Clanchild? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike. Sizo has a throaty quality to her voice and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Johnny told me how excited you were. Sizo sniffs. She also told me Triss would be coming along to get your bite together, but I think he may have. I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I told her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Triss's forgetfulness. Oh, were I dealt to so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own hover bike. Bike, you're going to build your hover bike. Of course. To make suggest you are creating something. But your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Sizo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I ask Sizo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. I hand off. Together we'll create something new out of the old. So I take it that the navigator is like the Sheikah Slate where I can... Yeah. Okay, yep. It's a little laggy. Wow. Clever, so I can boom. I boop. Oh, I pushed two. Whoops. No. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, I go back. I'm trying to just exit. Backspace, really. That's an interesting uh, UI choice. Quite laggy though, so I'm seeing how I can arm oh, right. I see. Very much like Breath of the Wild. In fact, more so than I ever thought. Alright, this is where I'm gonna call it for this demo. It looks like there's a bit left. I'm guessing you go do those three spots and you maybe start to assemble the bike, and that's when the demo ends. Just my guess. Um, wow. This one looks amazing, uh, really nice, and I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. <laughs> okay, this game is called Little Witch in the Woods, and I think I use the keyboard for it. it looks like I have to press C or Z. Um, this one looks really cute, very pixely, like a little bit like uh, Stardew or Little and you probably see me play both those on my channel. Look at the little witch. Oh, she's so cute. I don't, I don't know much about this one other than it looked cute. And I thought it looked good for ASMR. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the there was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. What do you mean? Uncle Greenwich taught it to me. That's exactly why you learned it from that weird worm. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We checked it every nook and cranny of the school except the man's restroom, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. How many times I think I say men's restroom? Can you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. If that coward finds the carrot, he's just going to take it to the teacher, all teary-eyed, like last summer. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in 
butterflies are too fast. Just walk up to them slowly. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh. <gasps> Ugh, why isn't it working? I used it correctly. I think I need a special butterfly net. Nothing from the school is ever high quality. But I'm sure you can get normal butterflies. Oh, well. little bunny. Oh wait, that's a, that's a butterfly, right? Oops. Oh yeah. Oh, I still got it. Hi. Squishy chub. I love it. <laughs> like I'm squishing its chub. Oh, I just kind of stole some of its fur. That feels like really, really mean. <laughs> oh, look at this. Some potions. 
rest. A. Active. What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I see what they mean. Okay. I sound like there's no place for it to go. Uh, you can go and that and that. Okay. Oh, gotta put it back in. Uh, make the juice. There we go. Ah, uh, cute. Alright. Uh, what was the next step? <laughs> Probably should have read it all. Now you put, we put the fluffy furs and then we add that and then we set the fire to weak and we stir the ladle to the right. Okay, I'm definitely have to read that again. Uh, okay, we have the witch's tears. We do that and we do the squishy job fur. Alright. Let me read it one more time. Just one more time. Weak. Stir to the right. Okay, then I add the witch's tears and the squishy jump for extract. Set the fire to weak. Oh, no. Weak. And the ladle to the right. And... Da -da -da -da. Okay, I've got Wee Terminator potion. Alright, it's a potion for moving things. Anyway, it's ready. I have to say, this is really bad. Oh, use the mode to drink or throwing potion. Okay. Um, this is really bad UI, I think. Um, having the ladle thing, but this should be left, this should be don't stir, and this should be right. That's just really bad UI. Anyway. Uh, okay, let's go use this potion. Um, if you noticed, sometimes passed because I actually couldn't figure out. I was not reading it, and I was looking at the UI. Uh, which is why I say it's really bad. Yeah, because it took me quite a while to realize that. Do so I have to, like, and, and I cut it out. Oh, uh, okay, so...